think that this one is a little nipper in here. It's got that perfect bevel for... And this is the big early stage. And I'm going to start off by using this side. I'm excited. Could be that piece of Edwards really similar to this. It was used by this guy 10 to 11, 12, 13,000, maybe more years ago. It's really, I don't take it lightly, I'm not, no. So, first, first time I'm using it. Let's see what she does. I'm gonna save all my flakes and. I'm gonna try to make some tools or some tool flakes. I want to be careful with two aggressive flakes because I don't know how um, sturdy this hammerstone is. It's, I think it's going to be pretty sturdy, but I don't want to, until I get to know it, I don't want to try to do too much with it. this so far. There's a lot of battering on the um, platforms and some of the bifaces that Steve sent. And it looked like they were even going in and doing a lot of flint, even isolating with the, the sharp end of a flake in some pieces. I'm liking the look of the battering that this creates. I hope I'm not getting shadows on this. This just feels so perfect. If 
a little seam in the tip to chip that out. These are gonna line up so good with this stuff in the bag for the early work. I have a feeling. Hope I can make a good slash layer point out of this. See how I trimmed that cortex off? And now I'm gonna come back and uh, hit a, try to hit a clean place. This cortex is crushy. Force that one a little bit. Double. Crushed the platform and created a hinge, but I should have my angle a little bit more down. But we have this platform right opposite it, so we can just take care of it. Hit that a little bit high, but I'm going to cut down to that plane so it'll work. I'm gonna need to braid this one a little bit. I think I'll use this. Get a good spot here. Perfect. Fairly hard forced, um, so I get some pretty strong undulations and a pronounced cone. If I would have hit that a millimeter or lower, that platform would have crushed, but I had enough stout on it. I really, really appreciate you sending me this stuff, Steve. It means means a lot. You'll get it all back, and I'll I'll have something for you. Besides, see the little cone and the platform having a little triangle on the bottom on that side so many of them are like that 
And that's what happens when you when you take a trimming flake on the left side of a ridge, you get flakes that have platforms like that. So that'll want to be one that we'll compare that'll line up really, really good. This is such a nice hammer stone. I knew when I opened that box and I saw this thing that, that it was going to just be a... Dandy. take that droop out of our tip. Let's stop here. I'm going to take some of these flakes inside. I didn't get out the bags. Um, because I may have to start doing more, um, I want to make sure that I, um, I'm doing enough edge battering and abrasion on my platforms. Because as I turn this over and start, um, planing down this face, I want to just, uh, I mean, the tool is going to pretty much determine, uh, how I go about it. So it should be the same as that them, but I'll just double check and then we'll look at it, but... Here's the wear, just a very little bit, see? Just a little bit taken off, but it is wearing. This wasn't a tool that he'd went into the quarry and just started, you know, wailing on stuff with. This sucker would be one I would carry around too. Perfect consistency for this Raw Edwards. All right.